Welcome. This is Mr. Fisher Flips third grade math. We are using Mifflin Mifflin's Harcourt Math, math expressions, and we're looking at the new Unit 5. Unit 5 is going to be going over a lot of things that we've already done, adding and subtracting, and, but we're going to get more specific and look at some word problems, situations, and real-life problems. So today's uh, lesson is going to be looking at the situations where we can use adding and subtracting, and we're going to use those interchangeably using mountain math, or math mountains. Let's get started with a... Anytime problem? A palindrome is a number that is the same whether it read from left to right or from right to left, such as 121. Use the digits 5 and 6 to make all possible three-digit palindromes. Digits can then be repeated. I believe that we did this uh, earlier in class, but we can do this again. If we look at 5 and 6 and we make three-digit numbers, we can just do 555. Five, five. There's one palindrome. We can also do 666. Six, six. That's a good palindrome. And... What about 565? Five, and another one can be 656. Six. And those are the four different ways that I know of to be able to do palindromes using the 5 and 6. And that's right. You put the same digit in the front as the back, and then you change the digit in the middle. Well, make sure you're practicing your multiplication times tables. The hardest ones to work on are the 6s, 7s, and 8s. Well, moving on, today we're going to be looking at um, how to do these math mountains. And math mountains are fairly new to the teaching um, of math, but it makes perfect sense when we do adding and subtracting. Here we have 110 minus 70. We know that's 110 subtract 70 because we have the total and we only have one add in. What we can do is we can go 70 plus something equals 110 or we can go 110 minus 70. For me it's easier to go 110 minus minus 70 to see if I can figure that out. And if I figure that out correctly I can go 11 minus 7 is 40. So I'm going to put 40 right there check my answer correct so math mountains are fairly easy to understand once we get started using them here are some of the terms that you're going to be using add to take from put together take apart if you uh, look at these these are going to be found in the story problems what is the total number how many all together how many in all how many now and that's working to get add to or the sum now if we're looking at the difference it's take from how many are left how many now how many remain how many are there are still there and so if we uh, look at that those terminology will be found in our word problems now we have an addition problem using the same thing math mountain here's another math mountain but this one has a story problem with it. Chris's group picked 80 apples. His mother's group picked 60 more. How many apples do they have now? So look in that t terminology we just used. We can say that we want to find the total number, the sum. So 80 plus 60 equals 140. And so we now have all our add-ins and our sum. Now let's change that problem. Let's uh, take and put 60 over here. Let's hide it for a second. What if Chris's group already had 140 apples and they ate 80 of them. How many apples do they have left? And now we can bring over this 60 and we can say 60. So you see that they're interchangeable. If we have these two, we can subtract the smaller number from the larger number to get the third number. If we only have these two on the bottom, we can add them together to get to the sum, 140. That add to and take from help us to understand the problem a little bit easier. Let's try a problem together. This is Allison's class. They brought 70 juice boxes to the picnic. Taylor's class brought 50 juice boxes. How many juice boxes did they bring all together? We can add that together and we can find that 70 plus 50 equals 120. 70 plus 50 equals 120. So we see that 120 juice boxes were brought. Let's check our answer. And our answer says 120 juice boxes. Good job. Well, let's try this at problem solving. There are 120 juice boxes at the picnic. Allison puts 70 on tables and leaves the rest in the cooler. How many juice boxes are in the cooler? We take 120 minus 70. 0 minus 0 is 0. 12 minus 7 is 5. So we have 50 in the cooler. So 70 plus some number equals 120. And we're going to just add that over here. 50. Use the math mountain. And we have 70 plus 50 equals 120. So how many juice boxes are in the cooler? 50 are in the cooler. 50 juice boxes. And our answer is 50 juice boxes. You're going to find that there's several ways to figure out the answer. There's the math mountain, 
There's the counting using sticks. And there's the equation. Two add-ins equals the total. Or you can uh, count on. And this is using subtraction. And notice with the drawings, we take 140 minus 80 equals 60. For homework tonight, there's two pages, um, about 14 problems. You will also have a family letter reminding you how to do some of these um, equations <clears throat> within this chapter, within this unit, within unit 5. Here's your math. Tonight, I'm just going to have you do it on the notebook, so I won't have you stop the video during this time. But you can see that it's using the math mountains to go 11 bicycles are at Matt's house and 5 are in the driveway. You have to find out how many are total. So it's using how many and take away, take from, and you have to write some number sentences. And I want to point this out. If you look at that, that is an equal sign with a cross through it. That means does not equal. So something does not equal 9 minus 4. What's 9 minus 4? 5. So don't put 5 in there, but put any number. You could put 6 equals 9 minus 4. 6 does not equal 9 minus 4, and that would be correct. So you got to be careful when it's that not equal sign. The remembering is just a review, mainly a review of our last test that we took on Wednesday, but it also has some measurement and how to do math mountains again. It's all part of the lesson. Well, that ends our lesson for today. Make sure you watch. Tell me when and where you watch the movie, the video. Sum up what you saw. Make sure you add a question. If you don't have a question, write down a question that you think someone else in the class might be able to answer. Thank you for tonight's lesson. Good night.